Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, this is Amy Martin. I am the president of the Gabba Arts Council. Some people in here know me as Amy, and some people in here know me as Miss Martin. Um, so I'm happy to do this uh, cool idea we had uh, called Read Along. Um, so we have different books every week that we are going to read along. Um, so today is going to be Pete the Cat and his magic sunglasses. Um, and then later this week, we will have tomorrow we have green eggs and ham. And then on Wednesday, we have Little Critter Just a Mess. Thursday, we have Curious George. And Friday, we have the Bernstein Bears Junk Food. Um, so please join us at 2 p.m. Um, and if you cannot join us live at 2 p.m., we will be recording each video and you can catch us on our Facebook page. Okay. Oh, and the other cool thing to note that all of these are free events, um, don't cost anything. But if you would like to donate, um, you can go to our Facebook page. Uh, we have a big donate button um, that you can click on, or you could send um, a donation to our P.O. Box, which is P.O. Box 29 here in Galva, Illinois. Okay, I think that's all the stuff I wanted to make sure we said. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So give me a second here and let me share my screen. Okay. Oh, come on. Well, it's being a sinker. Hold on a second. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay. This way. All right, and we click on this. And oh, it disappeared. Hold on, let me go back. <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulties. <laughs> it's coming on though. Give it a second. There we go, there's the book. All right, Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses. Uh, this is written by Kimberly and James Dean and illustrated by James Dean. Um, anybody that knows me knows that I love Pete the Cat. <laughs> um, so we had to start with Pete the Cat book. All right, all right here's, here's poor Mr. Pete the Cat. Oh, look at him, he's all sad and it says, Pete the cat did not feel happy. Pete had never, ever, ever been grumpy before. Pete had the blue cat blues. Oh, have you ever had the blue cat blues? Have you ever been sad before? That's how Pete was feeling. Oh, there's his friend. Then, as if things were not bad enough, along came a grumpy toad. Grumpy Toad was never happy. He always wore a frown. Hmm. Poor Mr. Grumpy Toad. But Grumpy Toad was not grumpy today. He said, these cool blue magic sunglasses make the blues go away. Oh, they help you see things in a whole new way. Oh my, I wonder if that works. What do you think? Do you think that special blue magic sunglasses will work and make everybody happy? I don't know. Pete put on the cool blue magic sunglasses. He looked all around. Right on. The birds are singing. The sky is bright. The sun is shining and I'm feeling all right. It worked. He thanked Grumpy Toad for the cool blue magic sunglasses. He went on his way and soon he saw Squirrel. Squirrel did not look happy. Pete said, what's wrong, Squirrel? I'm so mad. 
Nothing is going my way. I only found one acorn today. Have you ever had that feeling? Maybe. Pete again. So Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Whirl put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Awesome! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, and I'm feeling all right. Pete said goodbye to Squirrel and continued on his way. Soon he saw his friend Turtle. Turtle did not look happy. What's wrong, Turtle? Pete asked. I'm so frustrated. Nothing is going my way. I am all upside down today. Look at him. He really is upside down. Can you see that? Look at him. Oh my. Here's a better picture. <laughs> Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. I guess he's upside down, poor thing. Oh, you can't see. Well, I'm trying. Miss Martin is trying really hard here to show you the words, but you can't see the words on this page. That's okay. Turtle put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Far out, the birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, and I'm feeling all right. He kept rolling along until he saw Alligator. Alligator did not look happy. What's wrong, Alligator? He asked. I'm so sad. Nothing is going my way. No one wants to play with me today. Oh, have you ever had that happen where no one would play with you? That's sad. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. There he is. Alligator put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around, rocking. The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, and I'm feeling all right. Pete was rolling along and feeling all right when suddenly he fell back. Oh no, what happened? The cool blue magic sunglasses went crack. Oh no, Pete didn't know what to do without those sunglasses. Oh no, how is he gonna be happy now? Hmm. Just then, Pete looked up at the tree. Wise old owl said, Pete, you don't need magic sunglasses to see things in a new way. Just remember to look for the good in every day. There's the old wise owl. You don't need those glasses. You just need to look for the good because there is good in every day every day. He looked around without his sunglasses. Too cool. The birds are singing, the sky is bright, and the sun is shining. And we're feeling all right. And that's the end. Yay. <laughs> okay, so that's Pete the Cat for today. So we have a craft to make, right? Okay, so we are gonna make Pete's blue sunglasses. So hopefully you have a piece of blue construction paper. Okay, Miss Martin's folded hers in half already. You might fold yours in half in a minute here. You're gonna probably need some scissors. You're gonna need a sandwich bag. I know that's an odd one, right? Yeah, probably gonna want a pencil. A blue marker. Now, technically, the directions that I have use a Sharpie, but I just have a Crayola. I think it'll work. 
and you're gonna need a pipe cleaner. I found a really cool sparkly blue one. Look at that. <laughs> and depending, um, you're gonna need glue. Um, and in some cases though too, tape might work better. So glue or tape, okay? Okay, so the first step is we're gonna draw some sunglasses on our blue paper. So you're gonna need your pencil and your blue paper. And what I recommend is folding your blue paper in half. So I'm gonna wait a second for everyone to take a minute to fold their blue paper in half. Okay, so glasses, like, like my glasses, right? You're really, you're drawing a circle. Some people might say an oval, like a circle that's kind of stretched out a little bit. So I actually just want you to draw one of them, but I want you to make sure that when you draw it, you're at the edge of the paper that you just folded. Okay. I know some friends um, that know me at Ms. as Ms. Spartan also know Ms. Fusen, and she always teaches us about how we can make two of something by folding our paper in half. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so go ahead and just draw a circle or an oval, whatever shape you would like it. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. Mine's not very big. Okay, kind of looks like an ear to some extent. I know it might be hard to see because I'm using a pencil. I'm wondering here, maybe. Might be easier if I go over it here with my, my blue marker. Now here's the thing, I am not an artist. I will not make a perfect shape here. And most of you might not either, and that's okay. <laughs> okay, so. Now here's the trick is you're gonna now need to put a circle inside of the circle. Yeah, because what you're creating is the rim on your sun, on your glasses or your sunglasses. So just go a little ways in and do the same thing, just smaller. Like that. All right, once you have that, then you're gonna need your scissors. First, cut out the big circle, okay? And you have something like that. And I'm gonna wait a second because it's gonna take some friends some time. So wait just a minute here. Yes, I, I like to call my kids friends. So you'll hear me say that a lot. And then once you have that, then you're going to also want to cut out the inner circle. You're gonna have something that kind of looks like that. Now in the example, I've, I've looked at a couple examples and some examples they'll keep like a piece here and not cut it, but I think it'll work either way, okay? You could even, if you wanted, take a piece of construction paper and, and just cut a little, a little rectangle there if you wanted. Like you could do something like that if you wanted to make your little, your little in-betweeny guy. <laughs> Maybe I'll tape that in there.
Now I definitely went small for my face, but that's okay, right? We're just having fun. Okay, a little, a little small. I, I, let's see here. Can you, can you see me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So now that you got your 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 circles there, your your eyes part of the glasses. Okay, now you do the odd part, the sandwich bag. Because you're like, why do we have a sandwich bag? That's a really odd thing to have. Well, you're going to, and this is where either tape or glue are gonna come in handy, but you're going to position the bag so that you're basically laying it over the top. And you're going to either put glue all the way around or pieces of tape around so that it holds the baggie down. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna use tape because I think it's gonna go quicker. You can use glue, it's just gonna take a little bit for it to dry. So I'm gonna try to speed it up here. And the way you'll put these on is you will have where all the tape is facing you so people won't see it. getting kind of tape happy here a lot of tape going on that's okay <laughs> that way it sticks okay I think I'm good for now. All right, so now the kind of fun part too is you're gonna have to cut all, there's a lot of extra plastic bag here, right? So you're gonna basically cut around your outer part of your sunglasses because you don't need all that extra bag. Let's see, I wanna make sure you guys can see me. And as always, just do the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. I'm going to get a little. And I guess actually what's gonna happen is because your baggie is the way it is, you're gonna have a piece that's gonna pop off because it's not attached and that's okay. <laughs> All right, so you should be left with something that looks kind of like that. Wait and give everyone a second. So remember, that's the back side. Everyone's going to see this side, right? Not the back side. So the very next step is you're going to need that fun pipe cleaner you have. Now, like I said, I got the cool sparkly guy. <laughs> and all you're going to do is cut them in half. 
So, you know, just bend them so you can find where the middle is. Let's see what I did. I just bent him so I could find where the middle is. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut. So now instead of one piece, I have two. Okay, now once again, glue or tape, depending on your preference, glue will need some time to dry, tape you could probably do it quicker. Another thing that you could do if you happen to be cool and have a hole punch at home, you could use, as, as long as your uh, line was thick enough here, as long as this is thick enough, you could use a hole punch to punch a hole in it if you wanted to, okay? Um, and you might even, which I might even try, you might even be able to just poke the pipe cleaner in. Let's see, I don't know if you can though. Oh yeah, I was able to, look, I poked it in. So you might just be able to just poke it right in and then just have a little bit come out. Let's see if you can see that. And then I would just bend and twist so it stays in place. I'm trying to do it so you can see, I'm just twisting. And then it just needs to, Bend back a little bit for your for your ears, and then do the same thing on the other side. Try to line it up that way; it looks a little nicer when you wear them, but it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so you poke it through, and then you twist. All right, and then. If you want, then now my face is a lot bigger than your face, but <laughs> then you can put them on your ears <laughs> like that. Okay. <laughs> now there is one more step because we haven't used our blue marker yet, have we? So these magic sunglasses made everything look all cool, right? So we're going to make our magic sunglasses, whenever we put them on, everything's going to be blue. And so the way we're going to do that is you're going to take your marker, and like I said, you could use a Sharpie, it might stay on better, but I just have a regular old Crayola, so I'm using Crayola. And you're just going to color, and I would say maybe turn it like I have it where it's on the good side there, and you're just going to color where all the plastic is. And just, and it doesn't have to be perfect, it could be squiggly. You could scribble on this. Okay, just color it all blue much as you can and then do it on both sides all right then when you put them on now Everything's going to be blue. How crazy is that? I'll give everyone a second to finish up. All right. And you, you might even, your pipe cleaner, you might want to bend it so it fits around your ear a little bit, or you can just hold it in place. Um, it's for fun, right? It's for fun. It's not like they're going to really protect you from the sun. <laughs> okay, so that was our craft today. So remember, like Pete said, you don't need the magic sunglasses to make everything okay, right? Yeah, you don't need them because there's good in every day. There's good in every day. Okay, well, I think that's it for today. We read our book. We have, we made our sunglasses. So tomorrow, just to give you a heads up, tomorrow, two o'clock, um, we're going to do green eggs and ham. So we're going to read green eggs and ham, and then we're going to make a green eggs and ham game. Okay, and that should be pretty fun that you might even be able to have some fun with your family with it. All right, so I think that's it for today. Thank you everyone for joining me and have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later.
Actually, I probably should hold on. Where's my stop? There it is. I got to hit the stop button. All right. Bye, guys. I'll talk to you later.